Hi boys and girls, today we are gonna learn about water and climate. So for our first experiment, we're gonna focus just on water. And water is a liquid earth material that's made of hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, it's a little different than something, say a sneaker or a toy, that's not from the earth, that's actually made. So water comes straight from our earth. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to observe what happens when water falls on different surfaces. And the surfaces that we're going to use are a piece of paper, aluminum foil, paper towel, and wax paper. So we're gonna take our eyedropper and we're gonna squeeze the bulb and take the water out from the cup and observe what happens when we drop it on the surface of paper. If you look very closely, the water looks like it soaked right into the paper. So what we say is the paper absorbed the water. Okay, let's move on to the aluminum foil and see what happens. When we drop the water on the aluminum paper, or aluminum foil, sorry, we notice that the water beads up. Right, it forms like little balls or little domes. So we say that those water domes are called beads and when it forms those beads, it's beading up. So it's not going through the aluminum foil, it's actually sitting right on top in little tiny balls or beads. Okay, let's try the paper towel. Oh, so when we put the water on the paper towel, Again, it's similar to the paper where the water went right through the paper towel and it's absorbing the water or soaking right in. Okay, let's try our last surface. When we put it on the wax paper, let's see what happens. Oh, check this out. And you should see, again, we're creating beads or little dome-shaped drops of water that sit right on top of the wax paper and they don't go through. So again, it's beating up. In fact, if you take a couple drops of water, we can make bigger beads. We can even make some of the beads connect to each other and form bigger beads. Okay, so we just observed the four surfaces that we dropped water on and what happened with each one. So now your job is to observe each one individually and start to look for patterns and write in your observations what you noticed. Okay, have a great day.